What is up guys and welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is Moabi and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to disconnect a client or a computer from your domain. So for this tutorial, I went ahead and created a new virtual machine which I have already joined to the domain and now I'm going to show you the process for you to disconnect your computer or your client from a domain. So click anywhere on your screen and in your login screen, let's click on other user. And in other user, I'm going to enter my domain administrator account details and I'm going to use the username together with my domain name and also I'm going to enter my password. After I enter my details, I'm going to press enter and wait for the system to load up. Once your computer has finished setting up your domain account on your computer, now I want to show you the details of this virtual machine. So I'm going to click on my start menu and then click on settings. Now in my settings, I'm going to click on system. And on the system menu, on the far left, on the side menu, I'm going to scroll down and look for about. Click that. Now in the about page, you are going to see device specification. So you will see the device name and also the full device name with the domain name next to it. So this just shows that this computer is connected to our domain. And now I want to show you guys the changes that have taken place in my Active Directory server. So I'm going to jump into my server. Alrighty guys, now that I have logged into my server, my server manager it didn't open up automatically. So what I need to do is click on my start menu and then click server manager. This will open up the server manager for me. In most cases, it will come up automatically for you. So in my server manager, we are going to click on tools. And under tools, we are going to click Active Directory users and computers. Okay guys, once the Active Directory users and computers window opens up, now we need to click on our domain name. So I'm going to click my domain name and then click computers. Under the computers container, you will note that I have two computers on the list, which is home VM1 and home-vm2. So the home-vm2, we are going to try and disconnect the computer from our domain and see the changes that take place on our Active Directory. So I just wanted to show you guys that this computer did join the domain successfully. Let's go back to our Windows 10 computer and let's disconnect it from our domain. Okay guys, now that I can confirm that this computer is joined to the domain successfully, now we can continue with the process for disconnecting this computer from our domain. So before we disconnect this computer from our domain, we need to make sure that we have access to our local account on this machine. So in order to find that information, I'm going to right click on our start menu, then click computer management. Once the computer management window is open, let's click on local users and groups. And then we need to double click on our users. Under users, you will see a list of all available local accounts that you can use once you disconnect from your domain. In my case, I'll be using my admin local account. So before that, I need to set the password for this account because I had a password and I forgot that password. So I don't want to have issues when I try to log back into this account after I disconnect from my domain. So to do that, let's right click on admin. In your case, you will click your local account and then right click on it and then click on set password. A set password for admin window will pop up with a warning that lets you know that resetting this password might cause irreversible loss of information for this user account. So I'm going to click on proceed. And now in this window, we need to enter our new password and confirm the password. So I will leave the suggested password again on the screen. After you confirm your password, click OK. And if everything is OK, you will see a window with the message, this password has been set. So click on OK. And now close this window. So now we have our local account and also the password for that local account. Now let's begin the process for removing our domain. So in order to disconnect this computer from our domain, all you have to do is click on the start menu, then click settings. And in your settings window, let's click on accounts. 
and under accounts, on your far left, you will see Access Work or School. Click that. And now under Access Work or School, you will see Connected to Tech Tips with Moa AD Domain. And underneath that, I will see my full domain name. So I'm going to click on my domain name. And then click the button Disconnect. You will get a warning that says, are you sure you want to remove this account? This will remove your access to resources like email, apps, network, and all content associated with it. Your organization might also remove some data stored on this device. So because I know that there's nothing on this computer, I'm going to click on yes. So in your case, before you continue, make sure to back up your information on an external hard drive or any other device except the one that you're trying to disconnect from your domain. The reason is you won't have access to this account and you might not have access to your files after disconnecting from your domain. So just make sure to save your information on an external hard drive or you can take advantage of cloud services such as your Google Drive or your OneDrive. So in my case, I'm going to click yes. After you click yes, you'll get a warning that says, after disconnecting, you won't be able to sign into this PC with your organization's account. If this PC has BitLock installed and running, make sure you save a copy of the BitLock recovery key somewhere other than this PC. So what this tells us is that after we disconnect from our domain, we won't be able to access our domain accounts. And as such, if there's information on those accounts, we won't be able to access that information. And the second paragraph speaks to BitLock, meaning if you have BitLock enabled on your PC, you will need to save your recovery key somewhere other than this PC. It can be your Google Drive, OneDrive, or your memory stick, or also your external hard drive. So make sure that you have access to this recovery key in case you need it to unlock your computer if it is BitLocked. In my case, my computer is not BitLocked and I'm going to click on Disconnect. I get a Windows security pop-up window with the following message. To make sure that you can sign into this PC after disconnecting from your organization, enter the sign-in info for a local administrator account. This can be a Microsoft account or a local account. If you don't have one, you'll need to create one. In our case, we did confirm our local account and also we did set the password for that local account. So in this case, I need to enter the details of my local account. So my local account is admin and I'm going to enter the password that I set. And once I'm done, I'm going to click on OK. Now the system will try and verify your password and if all is well, after restarting, your PC won't be joined to techtipswithmoabi.com. You'll need to sign in with another user account such as the one you entered on the previous page. So it is crucial that you have a local account and you have access to that local account. You do know the password and also the username of that local account. And now I'm going to click on the button Restart Now. And now let's wait for the computer to restart so that we can see the changes that have taken place on our computer and our server. And now my computer is back online and I'm going to click anywhere on my screen. And now after disconnecting from your domain, I want you guys to take note that the other user option has been removed from your login screen. And now you see only your local account and no longer the other user's option. So I'm going to enter my password for my local account. Then press enter to log in. Okay guys, after you have successfully logged into your local account, now to confirm if our computer has successfully disconnected from our domain, all you have to do is click on our start menu, then click settings. In your settings application, now we have to click on accounts. And once we click accounts, let's click on access work or school. And as you can see, my domain name has been removed from my computer, which confirms that this computer is no longer part of the domain. Another way to confirm this, all you have to do is click on home and then click on system. Under system, on your site menu, scroll down and look for about. Under about, if you remember earlier in the video, under device specification, we had a device name and also a full device name. So our full device name has been removed because our computer is no longer part of our domain. The full device name had our computer name 
and also the domain name to show that this computer was connected to our domain. So in this case, because I can't see our full device name, this means that this computer has successfully disconnected from our domain. And another way to confirm if this computer has successfully disconnected from your Active Directory, all you have to do is jump into your server and confirm if the computer is disabled or enabled. So I'm going to jump into my Active Directory domain server so that we can see the changes that have taken place in our Active Directory. Okay guys, once you're in the server, all you have to do is click on Tools, then click Active Directory Users and Computers. Once your Active Directory Users and Computers window opens up, all you have to do is click on your domain name, and under your domain name, let's click on Computers. And now, under Computers, you will note that Home-VM2 now has a downward arrow, which indicates that this computer is now disabled. The reason for this is because we disconnected this computer from our domain. And now, if you click on our Home VM1 and then right click on it, you will see the button Disable Account, which means that this computer is active on our Active Directory. But if you right click on our Home VM2, you will see the button Enable Account, which indicates that this computer is disabled. And that is it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how you can disconnect a client or a computer from your domain. I wanted you guys to take note of the changes that take place in your computer and also the changes that have taken place in your server. And lastly, how to verify if your computer or your client has successfully been disconnected from your domain. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Share the video with a friend or two. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. And remember, each one, teach one.